What could that be? Is this zero zero? Twenty minutes in. Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I don't think I don't think it's uh, on, Kyle. I can't hear anything. All right, there, there we go. There we are. Oh, God. Episode well, three, is, uh, same day, yeah, same, same day, same time, really. Yeah. But it's okay. We're just having some fun. Yeah. And that's okay with me. Yeah. And if any <laughs> of you mother lovers have got a problem with that, okay. you can take it up with me. <laughs> but I'd love to see that. <laughs> Hunters Why? fetching ice from the ice bucket. Why would you love to see that? Because <laughs> you may not notice it about me. What? <laughs> when I get angry. Yeah. Are <laughs> you crying? Kyle's crying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that everyone is on their phone. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to episode three of Kyle's podcast. Um, I'm gonna start over here. Uh, So today we have uh, me at number one, Stephen Fredericks at number two. Uh, It's fun and unorthodox, but uh, Hunt and D Bag are sharing number three, and we got Gabriel Lenyeski on number four. Why do you say Gabriel Lenyeski? Let's keep the ball rolling. Like here. I don't want to listen to that. Well, let's listen keep that. the ball rolling. Let's keep the ball rolling. Let's okay. keep the ball rolling. Fair All enough. right. So where we left off? Where did we leave off? Uh, we Daniel left... got here, and then that's it. No, no, that was not it. We were... the ball was rolling. I spilled the maker's mark. Wait, Stephen uh, can't uh, hold his liquor. We know that. Is. I remember. I remember. Uh, Daniel was talking about how it was flooding by his house. That's no, true. I River think. Road. Yeah, let's go back Hunter. to the most exciting topic. That is the least exciting well, topic. What? One well, thing. I, one thing I do want to talk about: all of these people moving in the rain. That looks like it sucks. I dude. just drove by like three fucking vans yeah. Yeah. blocking really? all of Main Street, moving into their freshman dorms, and I'm like, dude. thank God I'm not in college anymore because this looks like it would suck. Not just the rain, but the COVID nineteen. Yeah, is this okay. a shot of makers for you, uh, Daniel? Shot for me, no, shot I poured that one for you, Steve. All right, Thank Steve. you for pouring because I'm actually unable to use. Drop. I'm unable to use my fingers or hands. See, Steve's a small dog. Oh, Kyle. Oh, but that's a fuck. I haven't had makers bark in so long, and that is a fantastic, fantastic whiskey. That's a strong whiskey. For what all of that? our listeners out there, we would really appreciate it if you could send in some whiskey recommendations. <laughs> I know we have a lot of fans. Just uh, we're please, we're open to anything. If you go to uh, if you go to makersmark.com and you enter promo code Looney Brothers, I guarantee you, you will get nothing. <laughs> no, whoa, 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 I, whoa, I, I got a question over here. <laughs> www.makersmark.com Hunter, what, what, what makes you choose Maker's Mark? Yes. The melted candle? That's the big, the big question. Does it look classy or what do, you, what do you feel when you buy it in okay. drink? Uh, first of all, how much does it cost? That bottle okay. is like $30. For, I want to hear how First of all, Forty. Um, Maker's Mark, 50. usually I get it only when it's on sale. And it's on sale more than you would think and i got it for 26 dollars 26 i'll pay that's 26 a fucking that? great deal uh, what is it, 750 mil yeah, like a handle no? no 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 it's like a regular size you know? <laughs> so it's a 750 in, bill, in yeah. this house we always compare any liquor if i'm not mistaken to black, black velvet. velvet black velvet mm-hmm. and black velvet is whiskey. running 750 uh ten dollars so black velvet favorite of homeless people everywhere yes <laughs> favorite of homeless people <laughs> that, everywhere. that is their motto but that's fine well, because you know we had a mechanic uh mr lair came in here and mr Blair said oh, i love your black velvet i said thanks mr lair well that he sounds saw, like someone you definitely want to emulate about 20 empty bottles in the basement he's like god damn <laughs> i was you actually about to man. ask how drinking you some had. black velvet up in here he well, said, shoot, Mr. He said, he said, he's, he's 20 dollars. Go buy yourself some black velvet. Yeah, he wanted us, Damon. He did. You yeah, know we'd be drinking velvet. that black velvet, Mr. Lamb. This you, is 1845. If you kept all, all the money that you had from buying all those black velvet bottles, you could have bought another microphone. That's hey, it. But you, know, <laughs> but you know, I'd be a sad man. Yeah. I'd be a sad man. That's sad. true. Well, what are how you many, right now, Kyle? If you're not a sad man, what are you? How many well, memories are attached uh, to each bottle? That's the question. I bought some, uh, some, uh, what, what are you? Uh, I'm glad. Yeah. What? I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, trash bags? Yeah, yeah. yeah Ooh, that's sad. Scented glad. trash bags. Yeah, that's great. Trash. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm glad. 
But okay. I'm sad. No, I'm glad. I guess Dead I'm, air. Right, well, let's keep, oh, let's keep the ball the rolling fuck? here. Uh, <laughs> um, so you asked me why I choose Maker's Mark, right? Yeah. So really, my philosophy is I don't want to go super bottom shelf like Black Velvet. <laughs> don't see why. But I don't want to go high shelf that, like into the forty dollar range. So Which I just kind of go what? mid range. Huh? What do you consider the the top shelf? Uh, Jameson. Like, usually it's like some of like blue, the blue local label. shit, like the Virginia shit. Like that's usually like the expensive ass shit, and mm-hmm. like you know, yeah. Turkey Hill. So that's it. That's my story. That's a fine <laughs> story. So who who started this Wild question? Turkey is what you were thinking. He, he asked that question. I said Turkey Hill. Turkey I was Hill's thinking like of Pepperidge Hill. Ice so I, Maker's Mark is it so is. fine to me. It's, it's so fine. Pe- Pepperidge. It's potent. <laughs> You know, the, Jack Daniels has got that big thing, but it's like it's just so spicy. It's like, Jack like Daniels scary. is bullshit. Yeah, it I don't is like, bullshit. I don't like but There's, people for like the it. amount of ads that they have, though, well, because people mix it with Fuck Coke, Jack Daniels, like the the Coca Cola, and it's just yeah, gets, that good. No, yeah, it's not it's because that, it's yeah. it's got that, that that bite that you want from your Laker, and when you mix it with Coke, it mixes just right. I don't know for some people, but I say nah. I think Coca Cola and Jack Daniels have worked together in order to just sell the perfect. Rum and Coke brand, dude. They they sell like pre mixed. Yeah, I know. I just yeah, saw the ads for that, know, and I couldn't I believe know, it. I was like, like, whiskey does not belong in Coke. Yeah, I, don't I, think, I agree. With that. I think you just need to take the shot of the whiskey and chase it with something, but yeah, just mix don't it with be a pussy, sugary you know? soda. I agree. If you're gonna have Coca Cola with something, have it with fucking yeah. rum, not whiskey. Like, if like, you have whiskey and you want to mix it with some shit soda, go with ginger ale, not Coke. I mean, personally, if I'm trying to get drunk, I'm not going to be drinking, like, sugary soda, like what Gabe yeah. said. Like, That's true. It's going to make me feel like shit. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather it take shots. Yeah, so Could you imagine drinking, hangers. like, yeah. six, you know, um, label <laughs> Cokes or whatever, yeah. you know? It's... No, I know. It's Like, even when you're sitting there eating, like, a cheeseburger, you probably only have, like, maybe three Cokes. Yeah. Gabe, I have a question for you. Oh, have yes. you ever bought one of those... Three. Bought? Have you ever bought one of those... Coca Cola's from Mexico, where they label it with oh, it's in the made glass with cane bottle. sugar, right? Yeah. Do you think that's a hack or do you think that's real? I feel we'll like it, it might be different. real. It it definitely tastes really good. It tastes better, or is it the preconception that you're supposed to taste something better because it's from a glass bottle and not a tin can? Well, they have glass bottles well, here. I think that good. the uh, the fountain drink. If they were to say, like, it was a fountain drink. Oh, it's drink. definitely yeah, better it, than a fountain drink. A fountain yeah, drink is, is, like, what, fucking syrup that they mix with water? No, nah, it was good. I think it's a little more sweet, honestly. I have a very important question. Which fast food chain has the best Coke? Coke? I don't buy Coke at fast food McDonald's. restaurants. McDonald's. I'm going McDickles, too. What do you, think? What do you say? I don't ever get Back soda. Back used to drink that stuff? Yeah. Mickey D's. Yeah, Mickey yeah D's. I think because they uh, they they, <laughs> they cool their high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> does it piss it. Okay, Does it piss you guys day. off if they go? We don't have Dr Pepper. We have Mr Pitt or Dr Thunder. Does that make you mad or does it not mean a fucking thing? I don't know if I've ever heard Dr Thunder. At no. <laughs> See, I worked at Food Line when I was in high school, so I know all the fucking you know off brand soda. What are you doing, Kyle? What is this fucking Shawshank Redemption where you need to put up all the fucking well, role models you have? We only see the film, though. But just us too. Not we can't models, see that regular shit. This picture is just to get us like really aroused. Yeah, I like yeah, aroused. She's, I like she's hot, right? Yeah, she's hot. She's well, hot. I, I can't podcast. So uh, that is the Herb Albert whipped cream and other delights album cover. Mixed with with I, got, uh, I got a question over here. Do you tell? When you see a sexy girl, she's drinking some alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you want? What makes it sexy about her? Like, what alcohol makes a sexy girl drinking alcohol look sexy? Like, I, pr- I can tell go, you, it's I'd not Captain vodka. Morgan. I probably go vodka. Vodka, vodka for me. I mean, I, hey, if a girl can handle her or dark liquors, I mean, whiskey. that's something else. But, but that's a little wild card. That's a red flag. If she's doing shots, yeah. instant turn on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, Why? Because she's easy or what? Yeah, easy. Because it means, yeah, something's, you know, <laughs> something's wrong. Yeah, this this is a, a little hey, bit easier. Let the the Looney Brothers are about to be part the of the Me Too movement. This is a PC. Really this is yeah. PC. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's why you put this out uh, here Phil, with the This cream. is a Phil Collins podcast. Phil Collins? This is PC. Let's talk uh, about I, Genesis. 
I, I'm not gonna talk. I don't, I've never listened to Genesis. <laughs> I've never listened to Phil Collins. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about in the air tonight. No, I don't want to talk about the cliches. I want to talk about. The but you don't know the. Want. I don't want to talk about things that people want to talk about. That's a valid. Point. All right, well, I, have, I have a question though. I have a question though. So going back to the, the high hey, fructose corn shove, syrup. Shove it right yeah. up in there. The high fruit, whatever the yeah, fuck fruit. corn fructose, syrup. Fructose, yeah, that's yeah. in the fucking Go soda. Ahead. Do you think that's why there's so many cornfields? Like, what is the cornfields really being like used for? Like in products, cereal. Like, why well, is there so many? Co- a lot oh, of cereal. Them, a I lot think. of them, I think, they're used for feed for farm animals. That's absolutely a good point. Uh, yeah, because that's what fucking they pigs will eat whatever you make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, the, the Chesapeake Bay, it, they say it's all for feed for animals for the uh, farm animals. Okay, that's really interesting. Actually. That is a good. Did point. you know that I lit? literally checked this like a couple of weeks ago the chesapeake bay is when you're talking about agriculturally and economically one of the most important bays in the world yeah it really i can't is, believe it man. i never knew it's that like, why because why? of all of the different regions that it influences yeah. and how many different agricultural businesses you it, can it, use it, like crabs the biggest, and then you yeah. can go from crabs to peanuts <laughs> yeah, definitely. It, it's the biggest. It's the biggest bay, like on the east coast. It's, I love. I love crazy. how they, like, crabs evolved to be peanuts. You know, <laughs> I was about to say, I love how they farm all those peanuts in the Chesapeake Bay. That's not what I meant, but it, I appreciate it's, the it's commentary. The biggest, <laughs> it's the biggest bay in, er, in the United States. You is know, it? the Chesapeake Bay? What are it other is. bays? I can't even San Francisco it. Bay? Yeah, yeah, San Francisco. It's not yeah. bigger. No, no, no. no Chesapeake Bay is fucking huge. I mean, what's another bay? I can't even think of another one besides those two. Because we're American, we oh, don't know about, geography. Well, the Gulf of Mexico, that's not well, a bay. Uh, that's not a gulf. Well, that's a gulf. Well, that's not a bay. Well, the, the Hudson Bay, but well, that's... Yes. Man. But the Hudson Bay is so fucking well, toxic, the, nothing the grows team. there. A gulf is just a big bay. The football team. That's true. Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Fucking no, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Underground? He picked the Tampa Bay mission. Hey, come on. Just me? Come on, guys. Hey, let's, speaking let's, of Tampa hey, Bay, there's guys, guys, Tom guys. Brady, see what he can do this year. Let's talk about right. seafood. Huh? If you get the chance. Right, why do you want to talk about seafood? Have you guys ever been to a festival where it's like on the bay or on the coast that's focused entirely on crabs? Have you guys been to the, one of those? Not, no. Not entirely it's the oyster crabs. festival. Yeah. Right, the oyster festival. Seafood that's festival, I've been to. Do you guys like those? Mm-hmm. What is banging all over town? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, Haley. Oh, oh, she's, no. she's brought the, <laughs> the kittens. Hey. <laughs> Those are so small. They're literally tiny. Have you guys seen them? God. No, I haven't hey. seen them. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my God. They're really cute. So, Haley, would you like to introduce no, no, no. yourself? <laughs> yeah, we, we got uh, we got kittens on the show. Right we were now. in the middle of a very important discussion about the Chesapeake Bay and crabs. Wow. So, <laughs> oh, would you mind just <laughs> moving away? Hunter, you're so uh, you're so tender. Is Hunter is a, a lord by the kitten that he is holding. Uh, if you haven't heard the kitten discussion, please listen to episode two. Check of the, out episode yeah. two. Kyle. <laughs> Fuck me podcast. Anyways, on global. Have we sworn news, yet on this? No. Oh, yes. Let's look at the yes. score for Manchester uh, Manchester City versus Leon. Let's see. Is that fragile? Leon is winning 1 0. What the fuck? How Wait, is that, that possible? Soccer? Yes. I put 10 bucks in. It's the semis or quarters? <laughs> we talked about this last night. What, what's the team playing the right now? Because okay. I don't know anything about it. What's the How teams? the fuck is Manchester Leon? Manchester City and Leon. If Leon beats Manchester Where's City. Leon? Leon is a French team for okay, farmers. Yeah. For French farmers. They grow potatoes and they play soccer. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't grow potatoes and play Daniel, soccer. Daniel, this is for entertainment. I'm not, I don't have yeah, to be it's correct. Yeah, entertaining. <laughs> okay. They just want the love. Cute cows are so small. You found them, right? Yeah, I worked. Um, Haley. Kyle didn't find them. I saved them. I picked, I picked this one up at work. Decision. And then all of a sudden, Kyle comes important. up with two of them. You guys want to sit in it? Like, it's like, just sit in and sit. Hey, Gabe, give me your toe, would you? <laughs> Hunter right. has a kid yeah, in his palm, and he is giving him very nice scratches. That's Norm. Norm and Jean, right? Jean. Yeah. So Jean. when you say it together, it's Norm and Jean. Good Norm and Jean. Norm and Jean. You guys Jean. gotta talk about the kittens, alright? Okay. Yeah. 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 
Yes. Hi, Haley. Listen How are you doing? Uh, you gotta like be this close to the mic. Yeah. Haley, we're talking about a lot of different stories. This is so much fun. Please introduce yourself for the fans of the. <laughs> Hello, I am Haley. I'm, I'm a kitty mother yeah. and a, co- a leopard wow. gecko mother. I'm allergic. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, Gabe, come on, man. This is crazy. Wow. Haley, I Haley, guess what? <laughs> Haley, would you rate man, Maker's you Mark as an expensive you. whiskey? I always thought it was. Right, well, before you got here, I poured it everywhere and it's spilled like it. Like, like a fucking idiot. <laughs> what? It's like you're in another year. No, no. <laughs> and I poured it all over my leg, and so now I have whiskey jeans. Hey, well, that's so nice. That's good. <laughs> So oh, Hunter, what, what I think? what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna sell these to you know a thrift market and tell them that these are whiskey infused <laughs> denim, and I'm gonna make a fuckload of money. Yeah, you could do well. With you that. actually will. It's fantastic. I support this movement. I know. Hunter is still entranced by the allure of this soft little mammal. Yeah, I literally can't believe how small they are. I know. They're, they're adorable. In all honesty, I love kittens. I love cats, and I wish that. We can, you know, give these cats a great home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, My girlfriend follows a lot of in, uh, Instagram accounts, home. and all these little kittens that get homes. And I hope that these little boys get what they deserve—a little home, nice and warm. Oh my God! How cute. Do y'all have any idea how old they are? I think very young. I'd, I'd say they're less than one month, honestly. I went yeah, to like two, three weeks. I took them to PetSmart, and they said like it's got to be like three to four weeks. Haley, thank you do for doing that. Like, yeah. <laughs> do they have to be bottle fed and stuff still, or what? I asked, and like because they have yeah, tea, definitely. And they said they didn't need to anymore. I was oh, shocked by that because they're only when three When I said weeks. definitely, I meant not oh. at all. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, take that back. <laughs> um, no, I just have regular cat. Kitty food, and then I have like the milk too. Okay, Haley, while you were gone, when you and Kyle, oh shit, when you guys left, I was watching them, and the black one was eating the wet food that you guys put in the bowl, and he was making his biscuits while he was eating with the biscuits. Like he was, had his hands in this muddy food conglomerate while he was eating it, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, this guy is just chomping away. Like yeah, he just is crazy hungry. One. Yeah. Gene, when we first got him, was the really shy, like little nervous we called him scaredy cat but now he's the courageous one and now norm is being a little normie he's being a little timid he is being a little normie <laughs> all right come on, come on. okay, okay i'm getting this back oh, this I is will crazy as well this i feel so like fun. i'm like Where did you these from? i feel like i'm in a different That's universe with that kyle i know 10 out of 10. <laughs> great it's been, okay. it's been a crazy yes. crazy old thing so we just come in and take a shot. Alright, take a shot. Okay. I'm not ready for this. Can I, uh, cheers with this? Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Ew. Cheers. To Jean yeah, and Norm. Yeah, I'll take one too. Yay! Thank you. Yes. I'll take one too. Love. Okay. What are you guys drinking? What are you gonna give me a shot? Wood- yeah. Maker's Mark. Uh, take a shot? Well, that's definitely not Maker's Mark. That's listen, yeah. Yeah. That's on topic. <laughs> when you're <laughs> colorblind, <laughs> listen, that's not very <laughs> nice of you. I'm colorblind and you're fucking prejudiced right, against cheers. me. Yeah, well. Cheers. Cheers. Kyle, look at that cat in your arms, he's dude. Suffering. Like, rest, he's, he's like about to fall. He's suffering. Okay. <laughs> I was able to do that. Oh, he's free. <laughs> oh, guys, the yeah. cats are making weird noises. <laughs> they are. Well, because they were sleeping. Low-bited. Low okay, we'll okay. put that back. That's a weird <laughs> noise. I can't believe that cat said <laughs> that. Camel hair is fuck yeah. You guys are me. Wait, wait, are these real cats? These are real cats. Upstairs, uh... <laughs> what? Like, as in, you know, the Democratic Party made robots as kittens. So I'm glazed, yeah. <laughs> like a fucking Krispy Kreme donut. Okay, Hunter, anything you I mean, say to me really isn't gonna stick. Huh? Let's go, uh, Have you ever gotten one of those toys where you put a quarter in and you turn the fucking slot? You know, you get like a little sticky hand where you throw it against the wall and it sticks right that's your mind and you're trying to throw thoughts at me and it's just not working okay i can't it's a gumball machine by the way what gumball machine that's what i was saying you know what the best machines to waste a quarter on are the ones where you're like donating a quarter and it goes like spins around yes 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 and you just watch it spin around like you're a fucking (laughs) yes i was gonna say (laughs) like you're an idiot who doesn't understand physics Hunter, would so you like, like to move to Gabe's again. mic since he's no longer here? I mean, he's probably. Are you coming back, Gabe? I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he's coming back. Okay. He was washing his hands. Oh, man. How did you moved back bike? for one second, Hunter. How did that feel to be in Gabe's shoes? For it was one fantastic. Second? Fantastic. Hey, that's pretty interesting since your girl. Sister. Hey. Works for Vans. I, I touched on it a little bit, but the girls came in and they drank what drink? Vodka. I think, I think vodka. Kyle poured in some vodka. So that's so kind of on par with what we were just talking about. That's true. Our earlier discussion about what kind of girl you're interested in. Well, not that we're interested, but I'm just saying a girl came in you're and drank vodka. In. I think most girls drink vodka. Wouldn't when you say? Tequila. I, was, I would say. I would yeah, include tequila. Yeah, tequila. I think definitely tequila. This, clear. this clear. It's clear liquor. Clear liquor. Yeah. But I think between the two, I think vodka wins. I would agree. Nah. For women, you think tequila would win? Yeah. I think given the choice. I think, I think well, well, here's the I thing. Think, when you say given the choice, a margarita from a fucking regular Mexican restaurant always has tequila. So they go, oh, yeah, tequila. And they think of that. And they go, that's oh, true. I'm going to go tequila. That's yeah. true. They, they know when the, the white girls come up in there. But when it's a they, shot, they, it's vodka. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they know they want that tequila. That's will force it on you. Tequiki. Have you guys seen that stand-up, uh, that comedian's joke, where he's talking about drinking, how it's like a party in your stomach, and as soon as tequila shows up, it's like, all right, everyone, get out! <laughs> yeah. or something. No, I forget. Do you guys one. like the basic taste of tequila? Do you find that tequila tastes good by itself? No. I like it. I it's think okay. it's good. I, I don't like how you can't get, like, some drinks like whiskey and vodka, sometimes you can drink it and not have an aftertaste. I feel like with tequila, I'm forced to taste it. That's an interesting point. I definitely agree that whiskey and some of the other drinks and liquors don't have that much of an after aftertaste. But. Like I feel like tequila, I'm forced to like actually like taste what it, the substance of what it is. Like, I have you had anything it. from that Richmond company, the local one called Belle Isle Moonshine? Uh uh-uh. That place is fa- I fantastic. I taste it. Good. Holy fuck! They sell it, um, all the ABCs here, mm-hmm. and they have like ruby red grapefruit. Bella moonshine. It's so good. But it's not real moonshine. It's like it? vodka. It, yeah. You just look at it. T- treat it like vodka. That's how ABC's I ABC's going to do home delivery sometime soon. No way. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Like, that's actually announced for sure. Yeah. That's a whole different job. Exactly. You, know? you got to be a delivery guy <laughs> for the ABC. Dude, so no. I had a coworker from New York who told me when she was there, you know, you couldn't get lick, not liquor, you couldn't get alcohol or wine from just your Kroger or your Walmart or your Kroger. You had or Target <laughs> or Kroger, right? Or Kroger. Well, I meant to say Target. Kroger. You had to get everything alcoholic from the state-controlled, you know, alcoholic store like our version of the ABC. Can you imagine if you wanted to get fucking beer, you had to go to ABC every time? What state was it? New York. New York. Wow, that sucks. Well, dude, I was telling them in California, you can go to Target and get liquor. Okay, wow. Like when I was in liquor. England, you yeah, could do buy that. Liquor at gas stations. California. Right? Fuck, I had no well, idea. Not most gas stations won't sell it, but like they can, I think. I think there's Clearly. a certain yeah. thing. Like you can literally go to Walmart or Target and get vodka and whiskey. It's fucking awesome. Oh, so I, when I was in England last summer, think of a British version of Kohl's, right? A clothing store. I was in a fucking clothing store. I couldn't believe it. Near the cash register, there was straight miniature liquor bottles being sold. Bro, that's I was like, what? Actually, oh yeah, the perfect thing to buy at a clothing store. Like, you're depressed about <laughs> your, your self-image, yeah, you're getting exactly. clothes. It makes me want to drink more than shopping. You, you know who those are for, though? Those are for the husbands that are there involuntarily. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. For Women! Like, there. Like, if you're gonna buy all these dresses, damn it, I'm gonna give me some fucking vodka on the way out. <laughs> well, the whole time they're just sitting on some fucking ottoman in the oh, middle of the store. Let me get some of that scotch in it. Hating their life. <laughs> They're just like sitting on like the, the shoe aisle, sitting on the little stools, just drinking vodka. While you know what's actually a underestimated part of American society is that we don't have to deal with the bullshit of every time we go to the pub, their version. If we were to go to a bar, it'd be like, we're the oldest fucking pub in this part of England. Like, everything's this around the same age. We don't have to deal with historical bullshit like... Oh, you can't hate that pub because it was built 200 years ago. So you know what I mean? There, there's like, how right. is that a, like a burden? There's it is a burden when you go oh. to a place and it has shitty food and shitty service, and they go, "Oh, well, our everlasting credential is that we've been around oh, for so 300 years." Because of that. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When I was in England, it was like that. It was like you can't criticize some of the institutions that have been around since the Dark Ages. But in America, because our country is only 300 years old, you either make it or you don't. Yeah. Exactly. Well. We'll see how long this country lasts now, man. I feel like it's going down the toilet as we speak. 
Welcome, welcome back, whoa, Kyle. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa, strong. Whoa, whoa, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? We got a mess here. Hey, well, gentlemen. actually, that was uh, Gabe's doing, actually. We got a Gabriel. See, Gabe poured me a drink perfectly, and then when it was his turn, performance, man, he just couldn't get it up. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, All right, I think right. you're right. onto some bullshit there, Steve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Do you guys think you can just come into my fucking house? So, and, and make me feel so... Kyle, I just want to let you know that when we're going to be listening to this, yeah, you know, you're gonna later, like, you're going to be like, I fucking hate myself because that sounds awful. Well, guess what? I can cut it out because I'm the producer. Oh, so wow. Fuck oh, y'all. Right. Please don't. <laughs> it's like Eric Andre okay. going up to random people going, did you get the abortion li- yet? Like he's the father. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, so listen... <laughs> Wow, that's a cool picture there, Steve. For everyone not something. listening, I took a picture of us, and it was a normal picture. All right, so who's got the juicy oh, fat one? Cool. I want to talk to the guy who's got the the juiciest, biggest fat one. Well, it's what? like a two fat what? <laughs> huh? Fat it's like one. A, fat gossip. It's like gossip. Yeah, gossip. No, 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 no just fat the phallic, phallic behavior. Fallacy. What behavior. the fuck? What phallic. Huh? I'm not sure what that means. What? We're it's not penis. English majors. Okay. Phallic no, he knows it. what penis, what phallic means. He means behavior. What the fuck are you yeah, talking about? He didn't about? know what phallic meant, actually. Yeah, phallic was that. Mean? Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I also need clarification. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Thank you. It, it means penis and penile things. <laughs> <laughs> Define penile things. Please. Okay. So I'd like to take a P H I L L I C. Think of um, matters of for three hundred, Alex. No, no, no. Someone again in front of me is a sexy fat lady. Get right up on the mic. Oh my god. <gasps> Kyle's lips hurt. You, you want us to tell you about it. You want us to tell you about ours? Kyle, you should set up a, you know, OnlyFans for your fucking breathing there, man. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, all right, all right, all right. I've had enough of this. Well, have you? Here's your uh, fucking shot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, Gabe poured you a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he didn't spill a drop. Well, like I mentioned okay. earlier in episode two, we are all alcoholics. No <laughs> change from episode two. Episode three, still alcoholics. All right, all right. Um, the last time that Tim and I was here was the night that the war began. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Which was <laughs> Steven, you're talking about the alcohol thing. I wanted to tell you something. I don't know if I already told you this, but in Japan, they literally have all you can eat and all you can drink. That's fucking awesome. Like yeah. a buffet for alcohol. Yeah, like how, how in America we have all you can eat, they have all you can drink. Well, you know, wow. Did you Everyone's ever see this? Two over there, so they can only drink. Hunter, did you go to, to- <laughs> Hunter, did you go to yeah. Tokyo? <laughs> no, I, I was in Okinawa. I heard in Tokyo, in Tokyo that hey, they had... Can we, all, can we all agree on a song? Because well, I'm going to put a song in here. Okay. Hold on, Kyle. I was going to say, I heard Hunter in Tokyo that they have Talking vending heads. machines for beers, but also for panties, like for old men to just buy panties. Is, did you ever well, feel they, like that was... I like, heard they, they have used panties that. in the... Used? The main, they, they That's do a health... Stuff. They do have that stuff. But not in Okinawa, but they have, they have a... Used panties. Weird shit in Japan. Weird shit. And those atomic bombs we dropped did some really Smelly fucked up panties. shit for you got the smell. That's what they want. What the fuck? Is that I wish stinky, here. He, he stinky smell. For those who don't know, Hunter is a Marine, ex-Marine, and he was in Japan for, what, a year and a half? <laughs> half a year. Half a year? It felt <laughs> a year. much longer. A year and a half. Imagine, yeah, imagine getting a pair of panties from the vending machine and being <laughs> turned on by them. <laughs> I know. It's so far removed from anything sexual. How is the vending they, machine they, not they, a cock block they, they entirely? They're like, being like innovators. They're imagine like, this is innovation for pedophilia. Bro, bro. Imagine if you wanted but the there's panties. Nothing, there's no, nothing not erotic pedophilia. about that. He, he, dude, he brings it back to his roommate. Dude, can you just imagine? This could have been well, anybody's panties, dude. They, just they, just imagine, imagine you want this. Woman. That girl I dude, grew up in the subway could have been hers. <laughs> imagine <laughs> if you wanted those panties and the so panties bad. got stuck. They did. Oh, oh, my oh, fucking dude, God. You're you were eyeing those purple pissed. panties. Yeah, I thought you're I, I, thought I freaked panties, out dude. over some Funyuns. <laughs> Why are you yelling? You know when you <laughs> shift <laughs> the vending machine to get something that's stuck out? You know when you like kind of tilt it? You shake it like you're at Chuck E. Cheese. You're trying to get the last fucking token. Your yeah. cookies haven't dropped, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. The problem is with panties. It's like there's nothing you can do. Dude, it's, like, hang, you, it's hanging. However on much you shake it, think, nothing's happening. Do you guys think all the panties come from the fish market? Hey, do you guys want some music? <laughs> from, from, what? from the fish? From the fish market? 
from the fish? Like they just pour like a bucket of from, the panties? Where no, they, what, I'm not following. Did the fish wear these pants? Over the panties <laughs> to get that smell in, and then they put them in the vending machine. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it might be true. It could I, be some artificial pushy stink. There's no pushy. way. <laughs> There's pushy. No, you said there's, pushy. There's no way no. actual. There's like, no proof saying that's not artificial pussy sink. <laughs> no, there is from fish. All right, so we're listening to a song brought to you by Cool Kyle. What is the name of the song, Kyle? It's the it's internet. Head. It's commercial. Wait, Kyle, hit us with head. This is the head. This is yeah, the head. brought to you by Manscaped. Shave this your entire a, fucking body. The, the, the listeners cannot listen. Be a slippery this seal. This is up to our own discretion. It's not. It makes a difference. What is it? It's just on our own. Some you made though. No, this is. Wait, so why would you play us something that we can't hear later? Uh, I can put it in there if I want. Just dirty. put it in there. This is funky. This would be Talk very heads. weird. Okay. For like, Talking heads um, for sure. Kyle, for five minutes, we're going to be talking yeah, about a song man. that no one can hear. Yeah, I can put it in there. Please do. I'll put it in there. Yeah. Okay. 